Oh. I notice record shuts off the music for Spotify. Yeah, they probably made an agreement together, YouTube and Spotify, to uh, prevent copyright stuff. Yeah, pretty slick. So I was playing music. I have a, a, a surfer music playlist. And of course, I'm using this little doohickey here. You've probably seen these before. They're a lot of fun. They have lots of colors. You can change the color. Yay. Not that you can see the colors, but they do change. Oh, mode. That's mode. This is color change. Pink, and that's lighter pink, I think. I don't know what colors these are. It's harder to see in the light. It's much easier when it's dark outside. That's green. That's a deeper green there. That's more of a aqua. Light blue and dark blue. I, I prefer that color. So let's leave it there for now. And then mode is where it changes. Like this is kind of oscillating. I don't know if you can see that or not. And that's kind of going back and forth. Anyway, I don't care about that. All right, so I'm gonna, f can I flip the camera around? I can. All right, so that's me, hi. <laughs> so I'm outside grilling burgers and uh, it's uh, Labor Day weekend, today's Saturday. So I thought this would be a great time to uh, finish uh, cooking up my burgers that have been frozen in the freezer for the last two months. So um, they're just kind of like McDonald's burgers, you know, frozen, ready to rock. And so I cook them just like that. Uh, frozen patties straight on the grill and they're doing great. Just like 1970s. I started working at McDonald's in 1979 up until my senior year. And then uh, I moved to another place. I moved out of the house to another place with uh, Jeff, my brother. The cheapest, crappiest uh, um, apartment in uh, Irving, Irvington, I think it was. Like $300 a month. And it was pretty bad. And we both worked at Chili's. Before that, we worked at um, Crystal's uh, Pizza Palace. And that was a cool place. So let me get this thing flipped around. All right. Hopefully you can see the grill. So I'm almost done grilling here. Here's what I've done so far. Yay. And I have one more on the grill. And there it is. So. Looks like it's about time to flip. So let's do it. Ugh. In this particular time, that side really isn't doing much. This side is, has most of the heat. So I put two on, but then I always have to pull them over to this side. All right, so we'll let that sit for another two or three minutes and you should be done. That's all we got. There's my little noisemakers. There's my car. And here's my little, my little setup in that suite. There's my non-motorized transportation. And I got a skateboard back there somewhere, but that's it. Happy uh, Labor Day. Hope you have the whole weekend off, including Monday. Um, and you have friends or family to enjoy it with. I am all by myself today. Cry me a river. I'm doing just fine. Um, and I think uh, mom and dad, parents, Essen and Diane, are going to church with me tomorrow. I think I'll meet them there, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, there's a church just walkable from here. I can literally walk there from right here where I'm standing. And it's called Rama Word of Faith International. And that that was the same Bible Bible college that was at Word of Faith World Outreach Center back in 1979, 80, 81 when I went there. 
a uh, long time ago. That was in Farmer's Branch, Texas. It's a long time ago. And uh, they actually know, they, they've they heard of Robert Tilton, <laughs> which is not good because he's among a list of people that are notorious, not famous. So anyway, they, they actually have two different churches. One is more Hispanic, it's bilingual, but it's mostly Hispanic. Then the other one is a black and white type where they all speak English, but there are a few whites, but mostly blacks. And that's the uh, Word of Faith Rama church side. So anyway, that's all I got. We'll talk to you later.